I loved the Xenoblade Chronicles series. I loved the first one. That was a banger. Perfect. I loved the second one. That was even more of a banger. Perfect. The third one, I'm kind of mixed on. I'm being honest with you, man. But the spinoff one, Xenoblade Chronicles X, the music was absolute fire. The story, it has that good cringe. Basically, Kingdom Hearts level. The game was crazy. And it was on the Wii U. Like, dang. And now you're telling me it's finally on the Switch? It broke out of jail. It's no longer on the Wii U, man. Now there's only two games left on the Wii U. For now, we got this, and I want to watch it. Monolith Soft. By the way, Monolith Soft, they all like the heavy hitters for the Switch. Any game that was somewhat popular on the Switch, they basically had a hand in making it. Like, Breath of the Wild, is it the game? Mario Odyssey, Pokemon, they dipped their toes. Uh, dipped their toes. Oh, bro. In it, yeah. They don't miss often. Oh, yeah. Well, it looks so it looks really good. Not too shabby, huh? The faces look like Xenoblade 3. Beach spaceship anyway. But yeah. like it or not, this place look at that is cat. Now. It's a Minecraft cat cube. We took the name from the city it was modeled after back on Earth. We call it New Los Angeles. Hey, oh. <laughs> Bo still looks weird. <laughs> Bo still looks a bit off, but hey, she looks good. They used the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 art style. Now, there were some people saying, oh, I like the old art style. Bro, no, you don't. This looks 10 times better, in my opinion. She looks good. And of Welcome course, our custom character. To NLA. NLA? I thought it was called Los Angeles something. My question is, why didn't they wait for the Switch 2 to release this? And so it was that another survivor. Ah, uh, the music is so fire! Refugees. Together. We resolve to forge a new uh, way of life here. Yeah. Come what may. And the game is huge too. Oh yeah, the max. You could you could explore the entire world right in the gecko. Do the music. Ooh, da -da -da. Was our beautiful lie to ourselves. I love Zeno Blade. It's that good cringe. We were adrift. Heading into the unknown. Kingdom Hearts, this. Our native home was gone, swallowed in a shroud of light. And our future was uncertain. Oh, yeah, and the story we in this had game no idea what had me hooked. In store for us. Bro looks so stupid, like, Only what am I doing here? Nah, it looks good. I like that. Huh? What's this? Fancy seeing you here. Bro's naked. What's going on? Ooh, new content next year. Next year is going to be so packed, man. Monster Hunter, now this. The only thing I think about is like new content. That means they're gonna try to connect the story somehow. I like that. You're right. And they just announced this out of nowhere. This could have been in a Nintendo Direct or something, but they said, eh, she, she just announced it on Twitter. Who okay, cares? It it's like, dang, okay. And for some reason, you still never played a Xenoblade game, man. What are you doing? Start with one, start with two, start with three, and then this. It's so simple. They're addressing the cliff thing at the end of the story. Is that true? That's why, that is why the music is so good. Bro said the composer of this game is, uh, him. The same person who did attack on titan that's why the music is so fire i may get it i may not maybe i'll wait for like a deal or something because 60 dollars for a game i already had is kind of crazy we have all three xenoblade games on the switch now monolith soft is doing a good job at feeding xenoblade fans man would have been cool if it was on the switch too but i guess the switch still has some life into it yay <laughs> after watching this though i have only one question where the heck is wind waker oh! in twilight princess man like dang